Hey, I'm way back here. We got a 1958 Cadillac Series 62. If this car was two inches longer, it wouldn't be spinning in here. We'd be doing this outside. This is the extended deck. They made two versions, a shorter one. This is the longer one. I never even heard of that uh, till today. Uh, but it's eight and a half inches longer than the typical Series 62 Cadillac. But what makes this car really special, it's 75,000 miles, it's from Arizona, has this much rust in it, none at all. This is original, this is a survivor. That paint is original, the interior is original, it drives like a dream boat. Really nice car. And do not worry, I'm not charging by the pound and I'm not charging by the foot either. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can find the price on every car we have, along with an easy monthly payment. That's where you can look at the pictures top to bottom and read the description about the car. We also have a buy it now button. If there's a car you're excited about, strongly suggest you click the button. It locks it in for you while you're doing your due diligence. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, let's go for a spin. Yeah, this thing is just smooth. The door shut nice. I mean, there's no shakes. It's just a really nice car, folks. Let's look at the body. There's a lot of metal here. Absolutely straight. The hood lines up square and flush. No rust, no damage, no issues. All clean, clean body. This is really nice. Shuts like new. Nope, not quite enough. Well, look at that. No rust, dry bottoms of the doors around here, the bottom, all this clean metal. Check out these tail fins. That's the coolest thing. Trunk is just as clean, no rust. And it, the car is so straight, just clean, straight metal. I believe, yep, the fuel filler is right under there. This side is just as good. All 18, 19 feet of it is straight. I don't see a ripple. This is all nice. No damage either. You know, sometimes they back into things, uh, but this is all clean and straight. Shuts like new. Purposely rolled the windows up so you can see how it fits. All clean, clean metal. Oh, there's one little crack down here at the bottom of this fender. So there must be a minimal amount of little body work or rust down there at the bottom of that fender. The rest of this is really nice. Painted its original color. Well, no, it is the original paint. So obviously it's the original color. And when you look at it, there's flaws. There's little rock chips touched up on the front of the car. One right here. It's buffed a little thin right here. You see a little bit of the dark primer showing through on top of the fender. So there's going to be imperfections. When you stand here and look at the car as a whole, it looks like a show car. This is all real nice, actually. A little tiny dent, a couple little nicks touched up. I'll be honest with you, the gentleman we got it from, this like we've been selling cars to him and buying some from him. He's not a flipper. He's a car collector. It happens to own a body shop. Uh, he painted the roof this color. It was all one color. He painted it this color, and I think it really gives it some pop. So up here is new paint. And just more little nicks, chips, you know, touch-ups, uh, you know, little imperfections you'll find. Here's a little scratch. No, that's actually a piece of rag. Touch-ups right around the edge there. It's buffed a little too much right here. There's a little bit of dark primer coming through. So that's what you can expect. The glass is all really clear. This window right here has a little cloudiness right around the edges. All the stainless and chrome trim is really nice. This stainless is nice and straight. The vent window pillar all around the windshield's real nice. Windshield's crystal clear, so maybe that was replaced. A little surface chip right here. None of this is pitted. All nice, clean chrome straight stainless so the chrome is straight and shiny but it's got patina there's a little wear and age on it all the bullets in the grill it's all really nice uh, so all this is shiny and straight but again 
It's not new, but it is really good. It's not pitted. To me, that's the, the important part. The mirror might be new. That's really shiny. Stainless is shiny. The gold emblem is shiny. Door handles, all this looks good. You got vent window front and back. The back window, it rolls up. It's, it's back here. This is notched for the window. I thought it was kind of cool. But then as you roll it up right at the end, it comes forward. It rolls forward, so now it's flush. Back chrome, just like the front. There's freckles on the upper bumper here, but it's straight. It's shiny. It's not beat up. All looks very nice. Rear windows crystal clear. And it is on a set of American Classic radial white wall tires. The hubcaps are in really nice shape. It did have a spotlight. And I will see in a second. It's in the trunk, so I imagine it broke off or something like that. But it does uh, have a spotlight that will come with it. So let's take a tour of the inside. Russell, do you check for dead bodies before I open this? Well, let's hope not. So there you have it. Underneath the trunk lid, again, original and clean. It's just so nice and clean. The original weather strip is still soft. So inside the trunk is the complete liner kit. Sides, floors, everywhere. And I'm going to say it's in good shape. There's stains, but it's not ripped apart. It's not falling apart. It fits real nicely. Is the big old uh, white wall spare tire. This block of wood is from Cadillac. It's right in the instructions. You put it under the tire when you jack it up so the car doesn't roll away on you. But it does look like the jack is missing. Someone might have used it at one time and not put it back. So there was a spotlight on the car. I don't know what the story. It got broke off or what. Here's a replacement. So uh, you can put a spotlight back on the car if you choose. I just read a note that this was uh, bought new by a funeral director. And that would be why it's kept so nice. They keep their cars really immaculate. So the interior is all original as well. Look at how nice the door jams. The weather strips are real nice. Door panels are in really good shape. You're going to have a little discoloring, a little staining here and there. <clears throat> But again, it is not beat up or abused. Look how much room there is. Look at the plush carpets. Big armrest in the middle. That folds up, of course. Now I wanted to point out, here's an oil change sticker. 1971 with 52,000 miles. I also just read in the notes that this car was parked a car dealership owned it, and they parked it for 30 years. So the front door panels are really nice. Just look at all the intricacy, all the different materials and the stainless and the chrome. Beautiful dash. When I hopped in here, I just sat and I admired. I just took it in for a minute. Look at this chrome not pitted. Look at the big gauges and knobs. It's just sparkling. Interior light, glove box, owner's manual, how clean and tidy. Look at this here. Look at the dash pad. It's not warped. It's not split. The kick panels. Look at all the design in the kick panels and the trim. Carpets are original. Again, a little bit of age. Got some new Cadillac floor mats over them. Uh, it also comes with this brochure, an owner's manual, an extra key, and a shop manual. So the front seat, really nice shape, a little staining, a little discoloring. We didn't really do much with it. You might get a professional like Stanley Steamer or something like that. They might be able to uh, revive it even better. Headliner, really nice. That doesn't look like it's stained or torn. Light works. The visors are real nice. It's a vanity mirror. The mirror is real nice. And look at this big old beautiful steering wheel. Matches the color of the car. Really nice.
So it's a 365 motor. I think it's 310 horsepower. It just runs smooth as can be. Uh, that would be a four barrel carburetor. It does look like the fuel pump is replaced. It has the original glass bowl, uh, all the original valve covers, air cleaner, the choke tube. Everything's you know proper and clean. Nice clean dry metal. It's not an old you know caked with grease. It, it's just it's clean. The wiring is real nice. This would be the oil filter, power steering power brakes, also has an optional windshield washer system. And then up front here, we'll toot these in a second, air horns, and then this would be an overflow bottle for the radiator. Under the hood is clean. What a smooth operator. It's idling a little high. It's uh, not warmed up yet. I just started the car. So it'll come down and really purr once it's warmed up. Unfortunately, I cannot say it's never been in the rain because it is right now, but don't worry. We will have this thing put back inside in less than a minute here. Just feels right. This is this is the real deal, folks. Smooth. So underneath is actually much cleaner than I expected for a survivor. Someone did take the time. They must have got under there and just cleaned it and then dusted it with some nice semi-gloss black. It was very neat and tidy. Um, the front end looks very clean, miscellaneous nuts, bolts, hardware look fresh or clean, so somebody's done work to it. And actually the springs and shocks look new, the front sway bar bushings look new. Uh, it's got air shocks in the back, so if you're in the business of putting bodies in the trunk, uh, this has air shocks for that. The dual exhaust system is new front to back. Normally it goes out through the bumper, but then it spits all over the bumper, ruins the chrome. So they are uh, rerouted downward. Uh, the brakes, the hoses uh, were replaced. Uh, we did a mechanical inspection. There was nothing in the mechanic notes. I literally called him, said, did you not do this one? He said, no, the car really checked out well. So, I mean, something like the clock is not working, but it runs and drives and functions really nicely. So yeah, underneath the car is really clean. And as promised, I'm gonna hit the air horns. Go to volocars.com. The salesman can help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door. You better measure your garage, uh, how to get it financed. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to your YouTube uh, channel and click on the bell icon so you're notified. You're gonna love this right from the Godfathers. I think that's cool. Thanks for watching.